Are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? A penile Doppler ultrasound may provide some insights into the underlying causes. In a recent case, a patient with a history of smoking and alcoholism underwent this procedure before and after taking oral sildenafil 100 mg, a common medication for erectile dysfunction. Before taking sildenafil, the cavernosal artery measured zero, seven millis in diameter, which is typical for the flaccid state. However, after 30 minutes of taking sildenafil, there was a significant increase in diameter to 1.5 millimeter. This is an expected response, as sildenafil enhances blood flow by dilating the blood vessels, including the cavernosal arteries. While this is a positive sign, it should be accompanied by a significant increase in blood flow. One way to measure blood flow is through the peak systolic velocity, PSV. In this case, 30 minutes after taking sildenafil, the PSV of the cavernosal artery was 17, which is below the expected threshold of greater than 30. This indicates insufficient arterial inflow and suggests arterial insufficiency, likely exacerbated by the patient's history of smoking. After 40 minutes, there was a slight improvement, with the PSV increasing to 20. However, it still remains below the normal range, indicating a suboptimal response. Another important measurement is the resistive index, or I, which reflects effective venous occlusion. After 30 minutes of taking sildenafil, the RI was 0, 8 below the normal post-sildenafil, range of greater than 0 0.9. This suggests incomplete venous occlusion, meaning that venous outflow is not fully restricted, potentially contributing to erectile dysfunction. The end diastolic velocity, EDV, is another parameter to consider. After 30 minutes of sildenafil, the EDV was 2, 8 indicating persistent venous outflow. This is not typical of a normal response, where EDV should approach zero or become slightly negative. However, after 40 minutes, the EDV dropped to zero simias S, suggesting that venous occlusion may eventually occur, albeit with some delay. Overall, the penile Doppler ultrasound findings suggest a vasculogenic erectile dysfunction, with contributions from both arterial insufficiency and delayed venous occlusion, likely exacerbated by the patient's history of smoking and alcohol use, while there were some positive signs of improvement, further evaluation, lifestyle modifications, and targeted treatment may be necessary to address these vascular issues and ultimately improve erectile function. If you're facing similar challenges, don't hesitate to consult with your healthcare provider for a comprehensive assessment and personalized treatment plan. Remember, there are options available to help you regain control of your sexual health.